Hello, I'm the Doctor, and this is my Draw My Life video. I'm a Time Lord. I was born and grew up on the planet Gallifrey. That part of my life was really quite boring, and you don't want to hear about that. I stole a time machine called a TARDIS, and I ran away. And eventually, when I was about 600 years old or so, my granddaughter Susan and I went to London in the 1960s. She went to school there, and one day two of her teachers, Ian and Barbara, followed her home back to the TARDIS. They found out we were aliens with a time machine, and so we did the only logical thing there was to do and took them back to prehistoric times. They became my first companions, and we went on many, many time-traveling adventures together. Uh, but then one day, after defeating the plans of the Daleks, the most evil aliens in existence, Susan fell in love with a human. She stayed there with him at my suggestion. I promised to come back one day. I meant it, of course. I always mean it. I had grown quite old by then, and not too long afterwards I died of old age. But you see, Time Lords don't just die, we have the ability to regenerate. So me version 2 started his adventures. The second me was cool. The first one was all, always a bit too grumpy and old to really appreciate the privilege of flying around all of time and space in a big blue box. The new me did appreciate it. I also caused some trouble interfering in people's lives and the other Time Lords got mad at me for that and put me on trial. In the end, they took one of my regenerations as punishment, and exiled me to Earth in the 70s, or, or was it the 80s. Uh, the third me joined the United Nations Intelligence Task Force to help protect the Earth from all the evil aliens that wanted to take it over. Also, I reunited with the Master, a friend from my childhood who turned evil and wanted to take over the Earth as well as the entire universe. Uh, we don't get along very well. I also met one of the original Time Lords, Omega, who was so evil all three versions of me had to reunite to stop him. After that, the Time Lords let me leave the TARDIS again. I still visited Unit all the time, and that's how I met a woman named Sarah Jane Smith. She was fantastic. And so was I, for that matter. I regenerated again and got a cool scarf. Also a cool robot dog. We had lots of adventures, ate jelly babies, and had a good time saving the universe. Uh, after Sarah Jane left, or I left her, one of those, I tried being president of the Time Lords. Uh, but staying in one place too long got boring, and I left to save the universe some more and have more adventures. One of those adventures led to me and the Master having to team up to save the universe. He betrayed me again, of course, and so I died again. Doctor number five was a hero. and he preferred vegetables to screwdrivers. He was a weird one. One of my companions at the time, Adric, died in a tragic accident involving some Cybermen. I never really got over that, partially because he was my friend, but on a deeper level. I think I was mad at myself for not being able to save him. What good is a hero if he can't save the people he loves, eh? That's what I thought, anyhow. And eventually, that led to me giving up that life to save my companion Perry. But something went wrong with that regeneration. Doctor number six was, well, insane. He tried to strangle Perry once, not very nice of him. Perry left after that. I was put on trial by the Time Lords again, this time for more serious crimes, and I had to deal with how corrupt my people were again. I also had to deal with an evil future version of myself that wanted to steal my regenerations. I got out of it though, I usually do. I love it when I get out of things. The TARDIS crashed, and I died again. It was a bit anticlimactic. Uh, the new me was less crazy, or at least better at hiding it. I was always scheming that version of me. The monsters I fought were bigger and smarter. My new companion Ace and I fought gods and aliens, Daleks, and of course a master, whom we left seemingly to die. We then set off for more adventures to see everything there was to see and save everyone there was to save. 
Things were looking up for me until, sometime after Ace left, the Daleks ordered the execution of the Master, who apparently wasn't dead already. His final request was that I take his remains back home to Gallifrey. They granted the request, and I obliged for some reason. But of course, he wasn't as dead as we'd thought, and he escaped. And then he tried to use the Eye of Harmony in my TARDIS to steal all of my regenerations. I did stop him from doing that with the help of a girl named Grace. Not long after that, the war started. The Master and I weren't the only Time Lords that the Daleks hated. They wanted everything in the universe that wasn't Dalek dead, and the Time Lords, corrupt as they were, stood in the Dalek's way. So they went to war. I stayed out of it as long as I could. I helped people. I was a doctor to them. But I couldn't do that forever. Both sides were willing to tear reality apart if it meant destroying the other. The universe didn't need me to be a doctor anymore. So I regenerated again but not into another doctor. I became a warrior, and I ended the Time War. All the Time Lords, all the Daleks, dead at my hands. That's what I thought, anyways. The war lasted so long that I died of old age again. I wound up in London in the year 2005, where I discovered an army of nestines, uh, you know, living plastic, basically. I was doing my best to stop them conquering the planet when I met her, Rose Tyler. She became my new companion, the first one I'd had since the war. I'd grown old and grumpy again. She showed me the beauty of the universe just as much as I showed it to her. She reminded me what it was I fought for. They all do that, really, each in their own little way. But she did it when no one else could have, when I needed it the most. I found out the Daleks weren't all gone, of course they weren't. Evil never dies. I did though, and so I became me version 10, or 11, depending on if you count the war one. I wished Rose and I would have been able to travel the universe together forever. That wish was not granted. Rose was trapped in a parallel universe, and she couldn't come back without tearing holes in reality. Broke my heart. I did see her again, but only because the Daleks were tearing holes in reality. I saw Sarah Jane Smith again, also. Uh, and Martha. Did I mention Martha? Probably not, actually. Uh, it was a big party, lots of fun. I regenerated again, but I didn't actually regenerate. I was a bit of a narcissist at the time, and so I wanted to stay the same. I just used the energy to create a clone of me, who then committed genocide and killed all the Daleks. I sent him home with Rose to the parallel world, and after that I was alone. They always tell me not to travel alone, and I really should listen. I told you I was a narcissist then. It got worse. I thought I had the power to make up the rules. I became like the Time Lords had before I killed them all. Corrupt with their age. That's when they tried to come back. Time Lords are annoying like that. You think you've killed them all and then the evil ones find out you're going to do it and come up with a way to bring themselves and the entire war back into existence in Earth's lower atmosphere. Stop them, of course, but then I died again. Which brings us to what should have been the last me. I met a girl named Amy and she helped me through my regeneration met her again when she'd grown up, and we traveled together along with her husband Rory and sometimes their daughter, who was also my wife from my future, and an assassin brainwashed to kill me by the Church of the Silence. Amy and Rory were taken from me. I decided to stop traveling, retired. I didn't want to lose anyone else. I tried avoiding danger. Danger came in the form of the Great Intelligence, the girl named Clara convinced me to help fight it. She inspired me to keep going. She saved my life and the life of every person I'd ever saved. So I saved her, but before I did, she discovered my secret. The version of me that was not the Doctor. The one that ended the Time War. Who was reunited with myself and previous version of me. 
We almost made the same mistake again, but Clara saved me. She reminded me who I was. I'm not a warrior, I'm a doctor. So I saved the Time Lords. I froze them all in a single moment in time. The only problem was that I didn't know how to get them out of it again. Eventually, after I'd been looking for a while, I found myself back on Trenslaw, where we found a crack in the universe, and on the other side of that crack was Gallifrey. I could free them, but that would bring war back to the universe. I could leave, but then my enemies would just burn the planet and everyone on it in order to stop the Time Lords ever coming back. So I had to stay. I defended that planet for hundreds of years. Eventually, though, I grew too old. I had to die. But Clara saved me one last time. She convinced the Time Lords to give me the energy for another regeneration cycle. So I saved the planet. The crack closed and I died again. Whole new set of lives, whole new set of adventures. I've made many mistakes, made many enemies, and I will likely make more of both. I've learned a lot in my life. Secrets don't keep you safe. Never give up what you stand for. Never forget what it is you fight for. Don't walk away from danger, unless you have something or someone worth protecting. Then you run, you run as fast as you can until you are out of the shadow. All the power over time and space is worth absolutely nothing, unless you've got someone to share it with. Not as good at a Matt Smith impression as I think I am, but that's okay. We all have our faults. I just like to advertise mine. <laughs>